Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we want to compare um, necklaces in our collection. I mean, we read some comments and you guys are wanting us to give you guys our opinions on like the Cartier Ledger or the mm -hmm. uh, Van Cleef yes. butterflies, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we don't we don't have like a lot <laughs> in our collection right now. But we just have enough where we feel like we can um, kind of help you guys tell us, decide. Tell you guys, yeah, what you what when we first bought like whenever I first went to the PCA brand. Um, I didn't know whether I liked the clover or I liked the butterfly, but what stood out to me was the butterfly. And I can tell you guys the pros and cons and of it all. So here is a close-up of me wearing the left necklace with the two diamonds. Here's a diamond here and here. I will say when I first received this necklace and I wore it, um, uh, the diamond didn't show, so I'll always have to flip it back and forth. But as you wear every day, it doesn't really bother you as much anymore. I did extend this by an inch, so the lowest length it'll go is right here. But before that, when I didn't, when it was in its original length, it went right here. So sometimes I do have regret if I should have just kept it the same because I really love this length, like up a little bit more. But who knows? I may just um, shorten it back to its original length. But who? You know, I don't know. Here is the Van Cleef & Norpels Butterfly Alhambra Necklace. This one is in the big size. They have one in the smaller size called the Sweet Alhambra Butterfly. It's so pretty. Like, I wear this daily. I usually sometimes stack it with the Diamond Ledger necklace on top of it. But I will say, like, they do tingle in the morning whenever I wake up. So, lately I've been just wearing it by itself. I did get this extended by two inches and I will say it's a little bit too long in the back it does kind of stick out it's not uncomfortable but whenever I put my hair up it does look kind of funny but it looks really nice whenever I wear uh, sweaters and I need it to be long um, I don't regret doing it that long but other than that it's beautiful like I don't shower with it on at all I'm scared that the stone might shrink and I don't want it to lose its luster or shininess. Uh, so I'm super careful about placing it down by sharp objects and things like that because I think they do scratch easily. But other than that, it's so pretty. This is on the second loop and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the first loop. It's pretty long, but on the first loop other than that it's beautiful here is the sweet butterfly necklace with the big one so you guys can kind of see the comparison um it's kind of tiny but it's sweet and dainty if um for me if i was to choose again i probably would just stick to buying the bigger version but if you just if you're a simple like you like dainty items this is not bad at all i did not get the first one extended at all um because i didn't know the process and i didn't want to have to send it in things like that so this is just how it is on its second loop and um if i put on the first one it just by this much but um i don't I don't think you guys should like extend the sweet kind version. I would just leave it as is. And let me show you guys what it looks like on its first loop. Here you can tell like here's the second loop and then this is the first. And it goes by like that. And I do wear sometimes wear the diamond ledger on top. But... Um, for this one, I don't, I do, I don't take a shower with this one as well. But um, placing it down, things like that, is not so big where I'm, I'm afraid that it will get scratched up. It's still really cute. Here's it stacked with the Diamond Ledger Cartier Necklace. Um, I went with 
the Cartier version besides the Tiffany by the Yard. Um, I felt like the Cartier was chain was a lot shinier, even though the diamond is a little bit smaller. Uh, this one is 0 0.09 and the Tiffany, the one that I was looking at, was 0 0.17. So I had a really hard time, but instead I chose to go with the Cartier because of the chain. Um, it's worth every penny, but I bought this one on Fashion File. It was like $9.80. Um, I, I felt like I didn't want to pay full price. So I was okay with the year used. I had a certificate and um, everything included. Here it is on the longer length. Um, this one is in rose gold, by the way. It's just perfect. We hope this video was helpful for you guys in looking for the pieces that you guys are searching for. Um, for us, we had a really hard time in the beginning, so um, we, we always text each other like, "Should we get this one or that?" And she's like, like, "I would say if you guys live close by mm -hmm. the store, go inside and try it on. Mm -hmm. Don't be like us in like about we, we, at first we were shy. Yeah, I, but connect with an essay. I mean, once you guys find that essay that you guys love working with, it's a be breeze. fun. It'll be actually fun mm -hmm. coming in there. Like when we see Francis, we're like, "What's up, Francis?" Like, yes. you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a fun interaction. So. Just try to, um, I mean, I know a lot of you guys don't live close by, mm -hmm. but it's kind of hard. Yeah. So I know a lot of people watch YouTube just mm -hmm. to see how it looks like on, you know, people. And that's what I did with my diamond ledger. Like, I didn't know which piece was, she didn't know, like, the extra small, small, and large, mm -hmm. right? And, like, when we saw it in person, we are like, oh my god, it's, it's like, mm -hmm. not even a big difference between the large and, and the small. small and there's a big price difference you know like so double almost right mm -hmm. so like uh for like just take your time mm -hmm. don't rush and you know the peace will, will always be there yeah. um we hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll be back with more bye bye mm -hmm.